Hello, I am glad that you found this video. My name is Bastian Kuhn and I am from Munich, Germany. About 9 or 10 years ago I was one of the first members of the Czech MK team and now I am a freelancer and this is basically my first English Czech MK video. In this video I want to show Czech MK 1.6 users how to use the new version Czech MK 2. And I hope you're gonna enjoy my first English video here. What we can see here is the main dashboard of the Czech MK Raw edition. Compared with the Enterprise Edition, this version has a different core and it's using Nagios instead of the Czech MK Micro Core. Also, that's a little different dashboard. It's basically the dashboard we have known from the old version, but with a different design. The first thing springs in our eyes are the new sidebar here on the left and the old sidebar here on the right. Since the old sidebar in the older versions was also on the left side, this one here can be moved from the left to the right using the user menu, which can be found here. I'm not sure yet which side is the better one. In my last German video course, I preferred it on the left side, but hidden out. But now, some days later, after productive work with it, I prefer it back on the right side. And what I also like on this sidebar is the quick search. You remember maybe on the left bottom of the old version there was an icon to add new snap-ins to the sidebar. It can be found now here. And if I'm gonna search a bit, I can find my beloved quick search again add it back here and I can move it around. Okay, I missed it. That's the one. And I can move it around here. Another nice option I like is to change the interface theme to, uh, to this light version of it. I can't exactly explain why, but I think it's much better to read. So, what else has changed? Since you had the few snap in in your sidebar, it's now here in the part monitoring. It's cleaned up and has two modes. The modes are always that you can see like a simple version of everything or you can show even more options. This icon you can find not only there, you can also find it in the other menus here like in the customize and the setup menu. Okay, let's go back here to the monitoring menu. Here you have your search function. If you hover it a bit with the mouse, you even get a help what you can do with it. For example, you can search for host to service, a host group on alias by putting like the H in front of it. And the results are only host names. If you put nothing there, you can search also for everything, services, hosts, and you also can combine here like host, localhost, and servers on this host, for example, the CPU load. But again, I prefer using it here on the right side, exactly the same functions and you don't need to click something to get there. Also what I really like here is the tactical overview. It's also now a bit simpler, but remember with this icon you can insert even more information like it was before. Then when you remember on the last version, if you wanted to customize your views or the dashboards or the reports, you had different snap-ins here on the sidebar. But now all of them can be found here in the part customize. If I enable show more here, I can see what I can customize. Basically the views and the dashboards, also the bookmarks, the topics and the custom sidebar elements. A topic basically is at the part here in the list and you can add and remove them in the old version the only need was to specify them in order that you can see them but now since they have like an icon with them you need to create them in advance 
enterprise user of course see a lot of more options here like you can also do your reports your crafts your crafts collections and stuff like that then in the old version you had a setup it was called vatu vatu was uh, short for web administration tool not only in germany nobody knew how to pronounce it so now it's everything behind the setup also the setup part is basically the same like before but cleaned up again and all the rules are separated in more categories the search here in the setup is more powerful than before if you restart the site you may notice that the search index is built up before you can even use it and like before i can search here for, for example disable and see all rules regarding the disabled part or like now i can also directly go with services discovery rules and i see like here are higher my disabled rules but you can notice here that you don't have that much rules than before and of course if you go to the monitoring rules you still have that much it's a lot of things you can configure in check mk but i said it in other videos in courses many many times you basically don't need to know which rule uh, applies to what because you can check it in the monitoring or in the setup for example if you go to the monitoring to your hosts here i go to the local host and i'm thinking about how to adjust the file system levels all i do is click here to the burger menu and choose parameters for the servers and what i'm gonna see here on the top is the rule i need to use it's called file systems I see the applied levels here and I can also see that it is the default value. If I click on it, I can create my rule. It's basically the same like in the old version, but what changed here are the position of the buttons. They are now all the time on the top. You may also notice this here in the normal views that you have buttons now here but that is uh, not that much buttons as before because what you can see here on the top now are just the uh, actions like saving something or if you need to do something but all the other options like a link to another view are now separated here in these context menus if i go for example to the host i have more of them like the links to the event views and to the histories and all that kind of stuff and also if you do actions it's more and more simple than before instead that you get the menus for all of the actions you can choose the action you want to do like you want to do the acknowledgement then you click there and you only have the dialogue and if you want to set the downtime you go the same way this time you choose the downtime and you only have the downtime part and you may have noticed that you have the buttons here as well because most of the time you want to either do acknowledgement or downtime and so you can choose it directly here also if you need the space and you're good with icons you can hide this bar away and you see like just the icons of the actions you can still click them from there but they are not using all the space anymore and this spotify icon here is activating the filters they are now clean on the right side and then you can just add more of them out of this menu if you remember how this looked in the old version yeah terrible compared to this here what's also nice if you are on the main dashboard for example you can also directly add filters just from the top here. Then in the old versions you had buttons on the bottom of the views for example to export or to enable or disable the navigations. Also these are now here on the top so everything you need you can find it by looking up here. Or then let's go back to some services again if i'm like in this view you remember maybe in the old versions the buttons down there everything of that can be found now on the top 
for example the export buttons or the display if you want to see this page without navigation or with navigation without navigation it's look like that it was like a little button down there the last version now you want to see the navigation again then you just click with navigation that's also a nice trick if you open something in the new tab and then you can just use display this page with navigation and you have your full page back also what's really nice about the new version is the help because it's more documented than ever but if i pick like the api documentation it takes a moment to load and then i can find a real real documentation with real examples everybody who has worked with the old api will love this i think if you are used to the old version you also don't gonna need a lot of time to get used to this one here the the functions are basically all the same user interface it's much more user friendly it comes now with this easy mode like here or in the menus like here it's clear to find now where you can set up stuff where you can customize stuff and where you can monitor your stuff or better where you can see your stuff later yeah i hope this video was at least a bit helpful want to see something more you can just ask for it and of course i'm thankful for all feedback i get and i hope in the future i also can improve my english videos since i'm not a native speaker of course it's not that smooth like when i do a german one but yeah i hope you like it and see you in the next video thank you